Welcome and thank you for looking at this new channel, Stadium Hot Dog. Our first series, Around the Grounds, will be focusing on the footballing firsts at the current home grounds of the 17 London clubs who in the 2022-23 season played in the Premier League, Championship, League One, League Two and National League. This episode will focus on Arsenal and the selection of footballing firsts at the Emirates Stadium. Arsenal moved into their new home at the Emirates Stadium in 2006 after spending nearly 93 years at Highbury. There'll be another video on this to come soon. The Emirates Stadium officially opened on the 22nd of July 2006 at a total cost of £390 million. The first Premier League game at the Emirates was on the 19th of August 2006, where Arsenal welcomed Aston Villa. The game finished in a 1-1 draw in front of a crowd of over 60,000. The first Premier League goal at the Emirates was scored by Aston Villa's Swedish international Eric Olaf Melberg in the 53rd minute. Arsenal's first Premier League goal at the ground was scored by the Brazilian Gilberto in the 84th minute. Arsenal had to wait a little while for their first Premier League victory at their new home. In front of over 59,000 fans on the 23rd of September 2006, Arsenal beat Sheffield United by three goals to nil. Goals coming from William Gallas in the 65th minute, an own goal from Philip Jagielka in the 69th minute and a Thierry Henry finish in the 80th minute. The first Champions League game at the Emirates was on the 23rd of August 2006 when Arsenal played Croatian side Dynamo Zagreb in the third qualifying round second leg. The first Champions League goal at the Emirates was scored by Dynamo Zagreb's Eduardo in the 12th minute of the game. Incidentally, Eduardo would join Arsenal in the 2007-2008 season. In his time at the Emirates, he scored seven goals in 41 games before he left the club in 2010. Arsenal's first Champions League goal at their new ground came from Sweden's Freddy Lundberg in the 77th minute. Matteo Flameni netted in injury time to complete a 2-1 victory on the night. Arsenal won 5-1 on aggregate, sending them through to the group stages. The first FA Cup game at the Emirates was on the 28th of January 2007. Arsenal drew 1-1 with Bolton Wanderers in the fourth round of the competition in front of over 59,000 fans. The first FA Cup goal at the ground came from Bolton's Kevin Nolan in the 50th minute. Arsenal's first goal was scored by Colo Torre in the 78th minute. In the replay, Arsenal beat Bolton 3-1 after extra time at the Reebok Stadium. In the fifth round, Arsenal drew 0-0 with Blackburn Rovers at the Emirates and lost 1-0 in the replay at Ewood Park. Arsenal's first FA Cup victory at the Emirates came a year later when they beat Newcastle United in the fourth round. Goals from Emmanuel Adebayor in the 51st and 83rd minutes and a Nicky Butt own goal in the 89th sealed a 3-0 victory in front of a home crowd of over 60,000. Sadly for Arsenal in the fifth round, they lost 4-0 to Manchester United at Old Trafford. The first North London derby at the Emirates took place on the 2nd of December 2006 in the Premier League. Goals from the Togolese striker Emmanuel Adebayo in the 20th minute and Brazilian Gilberto scoring in the 42nd minute and the penalty in the 72nd minute sealed a 3-0 victory over their North London rivals. The first League Cup tie at the Emirates came in the semi-final second leg of the tournament where Arsenal hosted Spurs. The first leg finished 2-2 at White Hart Lane and as the tie looked like it was going into extra time, Emmanuel Adebayor scored in the 77th minute. However, there was another twist when Mido squared the tie with five minutes to go. The game went into extra time and in the 105th minute, Jeremy Aliadier scored to put the Gunners in front. 
Arsenal sealed their League Cup final spot after an own goal from Pascal Chimbonda in the 113th minute. In the final at Wembley, London rivals Chelsea beat the Gunners 2-1 to lift the trophy. Well, who scored the first hat-trick at the Emirates Stadium? That accolade goes to Jay Simpson, who on the 19th of February 2007 scored all of Arsenal's goals in their 3-2 victory over Cardiff City in the FA Youth Cup semi-final. The first senior Arsenal hat-trick at their new home was scored by Emmanuel Adebayor on the 22nd of September 2007. This was in a 5-0 win against Derby County in the Premier League. The first away side to win at the Emirates was West Ham United. Bobby Zamora netted in first half injury time in front of 60,000 plus fans. West Ham completed the league double against Arsenal in 2006-2007, with their first win coming at Upton Park on the 5th of November 2006, Marlon Harewood scoring in the 89th minute. The first Women's Super League game at the Emirates Stadium was on the 26th of April 2012. Arsenal beat Chelsea 3-1 in front of 5,052 fans. The first WSL goal was scored by Kim Little of Arsenal. Little scored another and Katie Chapman was on the score sheet as well for the Gunners. Chelsea's goal was scored by Kate Longhurst. The first WSL North London derby at the Emirates was on the 4th of May 2022. Arsenal beat Spurs 3-0 with goals from England's Beth Mead in the 4th minute and Australian forward Caitlin Ford scored a brace in the 71st and 82nd minutes. The Emirates Stadium broke the WSL attendance record on the 24th of September 2022. 47,367 fans witness Arsenal beat their North London rival Spurs by four goals to nil. Goals were scored by Bethany Mead in the fifth minute, Anna Midemba in the 44th minute, as well as Raphael on the 54th minute, and then a second from Midemba in the 69th minute. Arsenal women play most of their home games at Meadow Park. However, there have been proposals at the club for the Emirates to host all of their games in the future. Watch this space for more on women's football in London. There'll be a series on this coming soon. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and most importantly, share your thoughts on your experiences, both past and present, in the comments below.